back, everyone. Well, new research is shining a light on a connection between migraines and Alzheimer's and why women are more likely to have both. So joining us now to talk more about it is Dr. Mark Underhill with the Northwest Radiology Network. Thanks so much for joining us, Dr. Underhill. First of all, explain the connection and, and why women are at risk, higher risk for having both. That's super interesting. Well, it is. The research is still coming around and we're still figuring out if there really is a true connection. But we're noticing that women definitely have migraines more often. Two thirds of the Alzheimer's patients in the United States are women. Mm. If someone has dementia, they were three times more likely to have had uh, migraines in their life. If they have Alzheimer's, they're four times more likely to have had migraines in their life. Um, some people think it may be related to, especially as we're seeing it, as women get older, going through menopause, is it related to hormone levels, estrogen levels? Um, some studies are looking at if estrogen therapy can help with some of these facts. Okay, so that might be why women have migraines more than men. Correct. Okay. Correct. Then, then what is the link between that and Alzheimer's? If someone has migraines, does it put them at a higher risk for getting Alzheimer's? That's the key. That's what research is looking into right now. Wow. This is kind of an anecdotal. We're just noticing these trends, and they're really trying to. They're trying to prove so that right now. So as a doctor, so you're just on the cusp of it. When you kind of look at it, when do you go, this is something I really need to be concerned about? I think if you look at these numbers where you say people with dementia, three times more, or if you have dementia, you are three times more likely to have had migraines. And we're seeing I, the numbers for, I think, 12% of the U.S. population has migraines. Wow. So it's an astronomical number. Okay. So what somebody that's watching who has, I know I have a lot of friends that Correct. struggle with that. At what age should they be concerned and what can they do now? I think they need to, when you have that time, make your doctor aware. If you have mm -hmm. other things going on, depression can lead to, is all in the mix too. When your doctor asks you, how are you doing? If you've, you know, if you're having a good day, don't say good if you've been crying right. for three hours a day for most of the month. That's got to be a doctor's pet peeve, right? Tell, like, tell the me doctor how, it is. how you're doing. Okay. Yes. And you also say that there's an interesting connection between people living with dementia that winter weather can make those symptoms worse. How is that? A lot of what we see, especially in older patients with dementia, and there are several different types, but we have something called sundowning, where mm -hmm. right around dusk, you start to notice it a little bit more, the symptoms kind of precipitate. Um, it's, it's darker outside. Yeah. The nights are longer. Things like that. So what can we do besides all moving to Florida? <laughs> um, That's get, a good prescription, right? It is. Get out in the sun mm -hmm. um, is one of them. Uh, right around the sundowning time, kind of keeping in the environment for your loved one, very calm, relaxing, not kind of not agitating. Okay. Um, keeping the room bright, perfect lights like this. Okay. That can make a difference. Yes. And then you mentioned to me before about a new type of scanning technology. There is. Uh, PET-CT, Amavid is one of the big ones that's out right now. There's a couple others that are coming out. Um, really ideal for when you have a patient that is has dementia, we're not sure what type. As we move, as I'm sure all drug companies are racing for a cure to, and to yeah. help us all out, mm -hmm. um, it's going to be very useful, and it is now, to really diagnose somebody with Alzheimer's disease. Mm -hmm. um, it can nail down and say it's this type of dementia or it's Alzheimer's. So never too early to find that out, right? If Correct. You, if you think you have the symptoms, if you think your loved one does, encourage them to talk to their doctor. Absolutely. And even about those migraines. What an interesting, fascinating connection. Where can people find you? Northwest Radiology Network. Okay. Uh, Northwest, Northwest Radiology Network.com. Radio North Imaging Center. Okay. Thank you so much, doctor. We hope to have you on again. That's great. Thanks for helping us out. Mike, over to you.